The Genesis arc features in Doomsday, the finale of Series 2 of Doctor Who, as the secret weapon of the Cult of Skara. This enigmatic casket-like device is the key to the Cult's plan to invade Earth and wipe out not only humanity but also the Cybermen, which also happen to be invading at the same time. But what is the Genesis arc? The Genesis Ark, as it was called by the Daleks, was actually built by the Time Lords during the Time War and was designed to be a prison ship that they could use to house their Dalek captives. The exact design specifications of the Genesis Ark are unknown. Though it was built by the Time Lords, the Ark was made using a material that visually resembled the bronze-coloured Dalek Anium of Time War Dalek casings, and it had several hemispherical interface controls that Daleks could use to interact with the Ark. The Genesis Ark was dimensionally transcendental, like a TARDIS, meaning it was bigger on the inside. It housed millions of Dalek prisoners, who despite being held captive were still battle-ready. The Ark had a failsafe to ensure that the Daleks could not open it by themselves, however, as it required the handprint of a time traveller to engage the Ark's systems. Strangely enough, once it was activated, it obeyed Dalek commands and appeared to feature not only a Dalek shield capable of absorbing energy blasts, but also advanced propulsion systems that allowed it to hover and fly. The design of the Ark implies that the Time Lords wanted to use the device as some kind of bargaining chip. After all, there would be no reason for Time Lords to imprison standard Dalek warriors or house them in a prison that could be accessed by the Daleks unless the plan was for the prisoners to be returned to the Dalek Empire. Perhaps the Ark was created as part of a prisoner swap between the Time Lords and the Daleks that went wrong. Dalek Sek states that the technology was stolen, implying that it was taken by force, but that doesn't explain why the Time Lords constructed the Ark with controls designed specifically for Dalek manipulator arms. The Genesis Ark was taken by the Cult of Skaro into the Void using their void ship, in which they hid from the Time War and emerged when it was over. The Cult and the Ark emerged from the void ship in the Torchwood Institute during a Cyberman invasion of Earth, and the Ark was accidentally activated, unleashing millions of Daleks on humans and Cybermen alike. However, the Doctor opened the void, drawing all the Daleks and Cybermen back inside, including the Genesis Ark. The Ark was never seen again after this, and while it theoretically could have served as a refuge for the Daleks in the Void, it was likely destroyed when all life in the Void died during the Reality Bomb incident. It is worth noting that, in the next Doctor, the Cybermen used a Dimension Vault to escape from the Void and travel back in time to Victorian London, which the Doctor theorises was stolen from the Daleks in the Void. The Dimension Vault is clearly of Dalek design, though no such device was seen in Army of Ghosts or Doomsday, so it is likely that this Dimension Vault was kept inside the Genesis Ark. Maybe the Daleks and Cybermen in the Void battled for control of the Ark itself, as it was the only landmark in the otherwise vast and empty space between spaces. What do you think of the Genesis Ark? Do you think that it was a good addition to the finale of Series 2? What do you think the Time Lord's purpose for this Dalek prison ship was? Let me know in the comments below.